I'd like to talk about um, substituting in values into an equation to uh, fill out a table. So I have an equation y equals 3 times the quantity x plus 2. And I have a table over here when x equals 1, 2, 3, and 4, what is y equal? So I'm going to put 1 in for x. So in place of my x, I'm going to put in 1. And then I'm going to follow order of operations. 1 plus 2, doing parentheses first, 1 plus 2 is 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. So y must equal 9 when x equals 1. And then um, y equals 3. And this time I'm going to put in 2 for x. Again, following order of operations, 2 plus 2 is 4 times 3 equals 12. Going on, this time I'm going to put 3 in for x. 3 plus 2 is 5 times 3 is 15. And then finally, I'm going to put in 4 for x. 4 plus 2 is 6 times 3 is 18. Now, I certainly could have seen the pattern and filled in the table this way that it looks like it's going up by plus 3 each time. Um, but the pattern is not always obvious, especially if you have something that's nonlinear. So let's look at um, another example. Okay, if I have the ex or the equation y equals x plus x plus x plus 6. And again, I'm just going to use 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I put 1 in for x, I would have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 6. I'm going to put 1 in every place that there's an x. So that would give me 1, 2, 3, plus 6 would be 9. And then if 2 were x, it would be 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 6. 2, 4, 6 plus 6 is 12. And if 3 were x, it would be 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 6. 3, 6, 9 plus 6 would be 15. And then if I had 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 6, 4, 8, 12 plus 6 is 18. Okay, and you'll notice that I got the same thing in my answers as I got last time. And the reason is because the two expressions that I used were equivalent. I used x plus x plus x plus 6, and I also used 3 times the quantity x plus 2. Well, if I combine these like terms, x plus x plus x, that's like 1x box plus 1x box plus 1x box is 3x boxes plus 6. And if I distribute here the multiplication, 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 2 is 6. So I should have the same thing in my table with those two expressions.